Hey folks, it's Dom. And I want to thank you for choosing Texas Pride and congratulate you on the purchase of your 18K deck over power tilt trailer. Here at Texas Pride, we know we're living in unpredictable times and there's occasions when our customers can't pick up their trailer themselves. So they either have it delivered or have someone pick it up for them, which means missing out on the final stage of the delivery process, the operational maintenance walk around, which is usually done by one of our customer service reps. So today this walk around is just for you. So we're gonna start at the front of the trailer and work our way around, starting with the safety breakaway switch. And what you're gonna do is you untie the cord and then you'll take this carabiner and you're gonna attach that to the inside of the bed of the truck. That way, if the trailer gets away from you, this will pop out, locking up the brakes on the trailer. Starting at the nose of the trailer, you have a tuned 5 16 adjustable coupler along with two safety chains, which attach to the inside of the bed of the truck. I wanna add one thing about the safety breakaway switch with regards to the breakaway box. Once this pin is pulled, it starts to drain the battery and it continues to drain the battery until it's pushed back in. So once your situation is under control, you need to push the pin back in because as I said, it will continue to drain the battery. And there are some people who will park their trailer overnight and they will actually pull that pin out just for theft prevention, not realizing that their battery is gonna be draining all night. The next day they get up, they go to the trailer, they plug the pin back in, thinking that their breakaway switch is working properly when it's not because the battery's been drained. So never do that and always check the charge on your breakaway box. If you purchase a spare tire with your trailer, then it's going to be mounted right here in between the neck of the trailer. In between the gooseneck, you have your sealed wiring harness that leads to a seven-way electrical plug that you plug into the back of your truck. Underneath the gooseneck, you have a front locking toolbox that you can use for storage. The storing box can be used for storing chains, straps, or any tools you might have. If you didn't purchase a winch with your trailer, you do have the option of purchasing a winch plate that sits right above the storage box. That way, if you buy one later, you can mount it right here. On the right, you have your lifetime LED lights that you have on each side of the trailer. The trailer also comes wrapped with plenty of DOT reflective tape, so you'll never have a problem being seen on the highway at night. Your trailer comes equipped with 16-ply tires that have 110 pounds of air pressure inside of them, along with 110 pounds on torquing the lugs, and they're running on dual 9,000-pound axles that have all-wheel electric brakes on each axle. You can remove this rubber grommet with a flathead screwdriver so you can grease the bearings. Now that's something you're gonna wanna do every two to 3,000 miles. You also have a grease point right here on the equalizer, and that's something you're gonna wanna check every other load. Your deck is 102 inches wide and the flooring is two inch pressure treated pine wood. You also have a diamond plated dovetail at the end of the trailer. All your features on this side of the trailer, like your DOT reflective tape, your LED lights, and your grease points are gonna be identical to the other side of the trailer that I already showed you. But the one thing I didn't show you was your side rails and your stake pockets, which you have on both sides of the trailer. On the left hand side, you have an underbody locking toolbox, but this one isn't for storage, so let's take a look. Inside the toolbox, you'll find your 12 volt deep cycle marine battery and your hydraulic pump, which takes 32 weight hydraulic fluid. You also have a 5 amp battery charger. On the side of the toolbox, you have a 110 outlet that you can plug into at home so you can charge the battery overnight. Inside the toolbox, you also have a 15-foot power cord that you use to power up and down to operate your three and a half inch bore hydraulic cylinders. You have a max rated capacity of 10,000 pounds on each cylinder. The next feature I'm going to show you is very important when it comes to safety, and that's your safety bar. Whenever you have your trailer up at a tilt, you should always, always, always have your safety bar propped up just in case you decide to be under your trailer for any reason. While I have the trailer up, I wanna show you your locking clamp for your bed. What you're gonna do is you'll push that, 
spring that up and then and this will lock to your bed so that it won't shake when you're going down the highway but you got to remember when you decide to tilt your bed up you need to push that button again unlock it and bring your locking clamp back down because if you don't you're going to risk bending the frame of the trailer so that's something you don't want to do most of the trailers are full deck power tilt but you do have the option of having a stationary deck for added equipment You also have the option to purchase a headache rack, and if you did, then it's gonna be mounted right here behind the gooseneck. Finally, on the front of the trailer on the left-hand side, you have your jack handle, which you use to raise and lower your dual 12,000 pound drop leg jacks, and this is what you do. Pop it out like that, and then to raise it, you're gonna go clockwise, and to lower it, you're gonna go counterclockwise. And then you just take your handle, and place it right back. Once again, I'm Dom. And I hope this brief walk around helped you to get to know your trailer a little bit better. But if you still have questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or visit us at TexasPrideTrailers.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road.